Hey, what's going on guys? JetXC here, and I wanted to do an overall review of Suspense and Skytopia. And I wanted to just quickly talk about how I think Snowbreak is and the direction they're going, right? So, um, I'll just have some stuff playing in the background while I yap for a bit as usual, right? So, guys, I think overall this was a very solid update. Um, firstly, I want to talk about the Star Master, the Pokemon mode. I think it's a huge improvement from the first Pokemon mode that we've had. I've, I've made a separate video on that. I could uh, link that in the description. But just to briefly touch on it, I think the open world that they've used, which they've used this world before uh, for the, I believe it was the summer event, and they've expanded on it. And I'm going to be honest, this is probably one of the better worlds that they've created. Just because Snowbreak can come off as very bland. Um, especially when you play the beginning and i think having a world like this that they've created is a lot lot better than the white and gray that we get from all the other parts of the world in Snowbreak. so um hopefully they keep this game mode up again there could definitely be some improvements um let me know in the comments what you'd like to see improved for this star master game um and you know hopefully this is used for their new open world co-op mode that they've been talking about right so you know, fingers crossed, but overall, I think Star Master has had a huge improvement. I actually completed everything, and that's a first, because the first time it came out, I stopped after 30 minutes. <laughs> so yeah, overall, Star Master was good. Um, secondly, I want to say the skins that were available, high quality skins, man. I think Life looks great, I think Finny looks great, Marion looks great. Um, even Echo got a nice little skin for the battle pass. Overall, solid look on the skins. I really think the in-game quality too has risen, especially for the character models. Uh, so I would say the overall aesthetic of these skins and even the default skins, right, for Finny and um, Life specifically. I mean, incredible. I, I know I've talked about the exosuits in the past, but they look great, right? Finny and Life. Uh, honestly some of the best designs in this game and that's including their um, wedding dresses so and that on top of the fact that the live 2d seem to be getting slowly but surely better and better um, my, my one gripe for live 2d or the 3d interactive skins is the um, just improving on having more options because I think for life she's got a, a few options here and there but I'd say Finney's is slightly better just because she seems to have a lot more interactions uh, throughout each one of her scenes in the 3D Interactive. So, overall, uh, slight improvements I wish to be made for um, the 3D Interactive skins. But, again, great quality overall. All the skins are great. I pot everything. Um, even Marion's skin is uh, uh, fantastic, too. So, um, yeah. Now, lastly, I kind of want to talk about the overall gameplay and the feel of the characters. Um, in my chat, you know, we've we've talked about whenever I live stream, we've kind of called these characters Life of Fitting Gen 2 characters. And the reason we kind of say that it's kind of a play on PGR, how when Bianca became you know, when Bianca came out, that was kind of the start of like Gen 2 characters in Punishing Grey Raven, where they could do things that a lot of the older characters just couldn't, and they could do it a lot faster, a lot quicker. Right? That's how I feel about life and Finny. Finny and Life have made They've made, okay, first off, Finny has made gameplay for every single character so much easier. Who knew adding extra ammo and giving it three charges uh, as a, like, a support skill would be insanely busted? Not only that, but giving a slight increase in damage. Guys, Finny's support works everywhere. And honestly, she's a great, solid unit as well. But as a support, she is insane. If you pair her up with life, life literally never runs out of ammo unless like two to three minutes pass by and then maybe you finally run out of ammo right that's how um good her ability is and it it keeps up with her dash skill and her um standard skill as well so overall finny fantastic life being able to jump around dash um dash back dash forward see her kind of spin around in her key animations i think it's a great great kit um, I love her ultimate, how she kind of goes Devil May Cry mode and she spins around with her guns. Um, I, I love the overall animations for both characters. And yeah, even life, I mean, she's probably in terms of skill and power, she's probably on the same par as a Katya. Um, yeah, pretty much as Katya. I think no one is really beating Sherno at the moment, but I, I would, she's 
very very capable she's definitely worth the pulls both are worth the pulls even though you get finny for free right and the manifestations and neuronics for each character are overall just really good really really good so um i've i've had a complete blast playing this event and i'm gonna be honest i'm, I'm really trying to think back to what event i liked more than this one and you know i did like the event with katya i did like the summer event way back but in terms of just like fun in gameplay i gotta give it to suspense and skytopia man i think the first year annie has probably been their best um event yet now maybe that's might be because we got a character for free i don't know uh, maybe because i enjoyed star master a little bit i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments if this is like the best event but there's obviously room for improvement and we do know that snowbreak is improving and that's what i want people to know that yes some modes may seem dry and that's understandable i completely get that right that's why my advice for snowbreak players uh snowbreak players excuse me is to always 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 take this game casually don't try and um chase numbers or min maxing certain builds as long as you can get through the content you're good right and eventually they'll come out with more stable even in-game content that we'll enjoy even more so overall uh great update not too much to complain about i have my minor gripes but it's a huge improvement and i will be so curious to see where this game goes in another year because it will definitely be here for the second annie for sure all right guys let me know what you think overall in the comments i am out later